Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of Thermodyne Mix. New and latest videos. Okay. So, in this playlist, we have seen different types of the lectures from the easy level to the advanced level. And now we are studying about the entropy. Okay. So, we have seen different formulas and how you have to deal with the numericals, all things. Now, we have to see one of the important topic, entropy of mixing. Because actually numericals are asked from this topic okay so you should know what is entropy of mixing suppose you have some gases a b c okay these are different gases okay and these all will have some kind of entropy okay and if we mix them all okay we are mixing a with b b with c all are mixed in a cylinder then what will happen the entropy will change it means the entropy of mixing is the difference between the entropy of mixture of gases and the sum of the entropies of the separate gases each at the pressure p okay pressure should be same so what is entropy of mixing difference between the entropy of mixture of gases and the sum of entropy of separate gases each at pressure p okay so this is given by delta s mixing and this is equal to minus r sigma and natural log of x it means we can say minus r n1 natural log of x1 plus n2 natural log of x2 plus n3 natural log of x3 and so on what is this n1 n2 n3 it means we are taking different gases and this n1 n2 n3 are the number of moles of these gases okay and x1 x2 x3 are the mole fraction of these gases okay so in general we can write del s mixing is equal to minus r summation of ni natural log of xi okay where ni and xi represents the number of moles or in the mole fractions of each of the constituent okay if suppose the total number of moles are n it means we can write n is equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus so on okay then we can write n upon n is equal to n1 upon n we are dividing just generally by n okay n2 by n plus n3 by n plus so on okay so what we are getting this n1 upon n will be the mole fraction of one number of gas n2 upon n will be the mole fraction of two gas and n3 upon n will be the mole fraction of number gas three and so on so this will be equal to summation of xi so we can write del s of mixing is equal to minus r summation of xi natural log of xi here xi is the mole fraction of each of the constituent gas this is a negative sign why we are taking here a negative sign see here we have taken here mole fractions and mole fractions are always fractional number so their natural log will be negative okay so there a negative term comes and this negative term is multiplied with negative sign so we are getting a positive quantity it means del s of mixing is always a positive quantity this will always be positive okay del s mixing is positive it means when we are mixing the gases then their entropy will always increase okay so this is the general formula that you have to remember and by this formula you can do different types of the problems I am giving you some of the problems you can see here how we have to solve these questions. See here the numericals. See here. Calculate the entropy of mixing of one mole of oxygen gas and two moles of hydrogen gas assuming that no chemical reaction occurs and gas mixtures behave ideally. Okay. So always remember when we are seeing the entropy of mixture we will have to take the ideal gases. It means gases are mixing ideally there is no chemical reaction between them. This is given in the question. Okay. So what we have to find out we have to find out entropy of mixing. We have given oxygen gas one mole and 
hydrogen gas two moles okay it means n1 is one mole okay and n2 is two mole so now we have to calculate the mole fraction x1 will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus 2 okay this will be equal to 0.33 right similarly x2 will be equal to 2 upon 1 plus 2 okay and this will be equal to 0.67 so del x mixing we have given the formula minus r summation of ni natural log of xi so this will be equal to minus r summation of n1 natural log of x1 plus n2 natural log of x2 okay because we have given two gases right now we can put here the values 8.314 joule per kelvin per mole right then here One mole multiplied with natural log of 0.33. Okay, plus two moles multiplied with natural log of 0.67. Now you can calculate this one. Okay, you are getting 15. Eight eight joule per kelvin. Okay, this will be your entropy of mixing. Now see the next question. See here, one mole of nitrogen gas. Okay, and three moles of oxygen gas at twenty five degree centigrade to form a mixture at a final pressure of one atmosphere. Okay, the initial pressure of each being also one atmosphere. Calculate the molar entropy of mixing. So we have given N one is equal to one mole. Okay, and N two is equal to three moles. So we have to calculate the mole fraction. X one will be equal to one upon one plus three. This will be equal to zero point two five. Similarly, X two will be equal to three upon one plus three. This will be equal to 0.75. Now, just use the formula. Del X mixing is equal to minus R summation of X I natural log of X I. Okay. So, what you are getting minus R, and this we can write minus R X one natural log of X one. Plus x2 natural log of x2. Okay. Now this is simple. Okay. So right here 0.25 natural log of 0.25 plus 0.75 natural log of 0.75. Okay. Here you can put the value of R also. R is 8.314. This is 8.1314. So just write it also. Okay, so that you are getting your answer. That will be 4.676 joule per kelvin per mole. Okay, this will be your answer. Okay, so in this way you have to do the questions. I hope you will like this video. If you have any problem, you can comment me. and if you are liking my videos please share these videos subscribe the channel and comment me thank you